So anyway, Jonathan. Yes. When are we going to open our own Western-style saloon and brothel? <laughs> brothel? So yeah, Western, Wild West-style saloon and brothel. Um. Oh, well. It's Tuesday. Next Tuesday is when yes. we should do it. Um. Oh. Do it at your house. No. I don't want to have a brothel right. so at my here's, house. So here's what we need to do. Um, I'll come around to your house with a hammer mm-hmm. and uh, as many empty cornflakes boxes as I can carry, because we'll need those for construction. Um, using the cornflakes boxes, I should be able to make a fully functioning bar on the lower floor. Um, what? How uh, will you make a fully functioning bar? Doesn't a bar have pipes and, and uh, dispensers of beer and stuff? I will have straws. <laughs> And some, you'll have to get some, I don't know, empty Pikes. Coke cans and we'll ferment our own beer. I'll get to that bit in a minute. Anyway, with the cardboard boxes and the straws, I should be able to make a fully functioning bar, tables with uh, roulette wheels and cowboys playing poker, uh, a piano with a man with a moustache and a hat <laughs> tinkling on it all day long. Where will you get a piano? Uh, I, I'll make one out of uh, Kellogg's cornflakes boxes, straws. <laughs> what 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 will we use for the strings? You know, pianos. Uh, the, it's a musical instrument that actually is a stringed instrument. A lot of people don't know that, I guess. But yeah, yeah. yeah that's you can't just use boxes. You need to use some strings. Literally, some. don't worry about it. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we need stairs going up. To okay. a balcony area, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And there are multiple doors running along this sort of balcony alcove corridor area up the top, uh-huh. um, leading to rooms with prostitutes in. Oh. And two of the doors are open, right? Uh-huh. And I'll employ a woman with petticoats, right? And a cowboy. Like a, a real grizzly one with one glassy eye and stubble and a big shaggy moustache and a, a bandito scarf around his neck. And he'll be chasing her um, with his arms outstretched and his fingers grasping the air. And he'll be going ha, 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 like that. And the woman will be going, oh, oh, cheeky, in that kind of Wild West accent. Oh, you cheeky bastard. And they'll be running round and round through the two doors. Like, they'll go in one door and come out the other. And they'll just be circling the whole time. Um, and down below, we've got cowboys playing poker and a guy on a tinkly-tonkly, old-timey piano. You will be the barman. Oh. Um, you also will have a moustache. Mm. And you'll mostly spend most of the day sitting, at, standing at one end of the bar with a glass in your hand and a cloth, and you'll just be cleaning that glass. Somehow I knew that. That's that's my new life, just cleaning that glass and yep. looking at the strangers and thinking about the prostitution in my house <laughs> going on upstairs that I'm just gonna like, I guess. But it's gonna be it's gonna be okay prostitution. Because it's Wild West prostitution, which, oh. is, which is charming. <laughs> that it's it's neither exploitative, uh, misogynistic, or illegal. Because it is Wild West. Like the police could come to your house, yeah, they and could knock on the door, and and come in, and you will be like just cleaning this glass. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, the, remember what you're picturing is. Basically, a scene out of Tombstone or, or Three Ten to Yuma or one of those great cowboy movies. But what is is happening in reality is my <laughs> house is filled with cardboard. I mean, uh, with uh, cornflakes boxes. There's just street prostitutes, and I guess my landlord. If you go up the stairs of my house, that's my landlord's house. So like, what are these ladies? And just like there they are, and then a man with a mustache is just chasing one around, and and screaming probably. <laughs> Where is it? Do it, do it. Where? Give me my money's worth. And I'm just downstairs with a glass and a, uh, a badly drawn-on mustache with like a magic marker. Miserable. Miserable. <laughs> Expecting eviction and or arrest at any time. And you're just like, isn't this great? Just like in the movies. Great. Oh, I sound like Mickey Mouse now. Yeah, yeah you yeah. are Mouse. But I mean, the point I was making is the police could come round. 
and mm-hmm. say, we've been hearing, like, disturbances. There's been shouting and screaming going on. Your landlord's called the police um, just because this fat Englishman kicked his door in, used one of those metal battering, handheld battering rams to knock the door through and just invited these prostitutes in. Um, <laughs> no, just mill about. Just there's, a, <laughs> there's a ghetto blaster constantly playing fake piano music. <laughs> Near the cardboard uh, boxes. Near, <laughs> Near the, the cardboard boxes. boxes. Yeah. Um, but, but, mm-hmm. I see you're behind an authentic saloon bar, wiping a glass. This must be a Wild West saloon and a brothel. This is what the police are saying? <laughs> yes. <They're laughs> They're <saying>, convinced? <laughs> Why wouldn't they? You'd be behind a bar cleaning a glass. You'll have a, <laughs> you realize you'll have a mustache as well. Probably a little vest, too. They used to yeah. wear those, right? and a yeah. cigar. They'll be like, well, this is a place of business and people are smoking publicly. It must be a Wild West saloon. Therefore, carry on. And I'll be back later tonight to sample some of your fine ale and maybe one of those gorgeous girlies in their petticoats and brassieres. Wow. This is a one more thing to worry about. That'd be it's good. Been... And I, I will be queen of the bordello. Is that right? Yeah, I will. I will be a high class madam in charge of the girls, and I will wear a red dress with a corset, red and black, uh, with a knitting needle through my hair. I, I guess. Uh, I'll have a cigarette holder and I'll be like, no, ladies, it's the, the Dr. Evil. Yeah, the, <laughs> I'm being a high class madam of the night. Right. The, is- my ladies, <laughs> the Bonanza brothers are in town tonight. The meanest guns in the West. And they've got the meanest cum in the West as well. <laughs> Ugh, what is that? It's like sour or something? It just tastes bad? It's just, what, yeah. What's the meanest, like, they, black? They mostly come onto tablespoons and then just flick it in your eyes. <laughs> that is the meanest cum it's in the, the West. It's the meanest cum in the West. Uh, we're the meanest cum in the West, girls. So uh, be on your best behavior. This, uh, do you like my authentic um, Western accent? Um, be on your best behavior, girls, and show them your vaginas for money, as is the way. The old show Western them. way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they will give you a shiny shilling, and you will show them your anuses. <laughs> and that's how Wild West uh, bordellos work. I, I think... It's, I don't even know if bordellos the right word. It sounds rude. I think it is. Bordello of blood. We're back to... Uh... Crypt Keeper talk now. Oh, there you go. Mm, yeah. Full circle. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's that'll be me. So don't worry. I'll be looking after. <laughs> I'll be looking after the girls because you've got me in a dress, um, smoking through a cigarette holder, and uh, encouraging them to have uh, semen flicked at them and tablespoons and just I'm show. Not up encouraging them. that bit. I'm just, I'm, if anything, I'm looking out for their safety because I'm warning them. Because the Bonanza brothers, they're the meanest guns in the West. They're rootin' tootin' proper bandits. Um, but, and- you, but you said for them to not, you know, don't let them flick semen at, at you. you know, don't stand for that. You said, be on your best behavior, girls. Show the, show the vagina properly so they can move along the business. Is that what you were, you were implying? That they well, they've got to work. They still, <laughs> my, my girls have still got to work, is the point. So it's like, just be careful. As soon as you see a flash of silver, close your eyes. Um, but be courteous, uh, because Jonathan Holmes's saloon and brothel. Oh, it's named after me. <laughs> yes! Oh. And there's a... There's a signpost outside with a picture of your face winking and giving a thumbs up with a speech bubble that says, I approve of this. <laughs> Just so that people know it's got the Jonathan Holmes seal of approval, which counts for a lot in um, 
Goopy Gulch, which is the name of the fictional Wild West cowboy town that I will pretend this takes place in instead of the middle of a street in Boston. Yeah, yeah. I live in a nice street, and actually there's rabbits and stuff, so... That's I brilliant. Squint. Yeah, if you That's, squint, it looks like the Old West, I guess. If it's there's, really yeah, hard. if there's rabbits running around, we can do meals. What? Meals, because, you know, after a hard day at the ranch, um, the, the, the cow herds will come in, and they'll want, you know, sure, they'll want their um, snake bites and other traditional Western drinks. Oh, uh, that's yeah. Cool. They'll say, you know, ah, give me a quart of Everclear, <laughs> cowboy partner. Um, now, that's Credence Clearwater Revival. Oh, my mistake. Um, so that'll be on. They'll, they'll get their Everclear, and we can serve them up steamed rabbit that we have caught. Oh, no. So <laughs> now I have to kill live animals. I'll I help. It's really depressing. I'll help. I'll hand you the bricks. <laughs> I'll hand you the bricks. You, you, We'll do this every morning. We'll get up at like 5 in the morning. 5 a.m. Um, I'll still be keeping my dress on because I reckon I'm going to look lovely in it. Um, I'll hitch them up. I'll hitch the petticoats up around my knees and kind of we'll walk in the field um, and look for rabbits. And I'll hand you the bricks and you just sort of throw them at the rabbits. Um, can you cook a rabbit? Do you know how to cook a rabbit? Uh, I don't want to cook a rabbit at all. If I had to, I guess I would... Oh, you know how terrible it is? You have to, like, take the skin off of it and look at its cute little face and then, like, look at... Uh, then it's sort of, like, Hellraiser after that. It's just, like, pink... I can do that. I, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good at cooking. So yeah. I can get the rabbit, uh, cut the skin off with scissors, yeah. um, toss it on an electric uh, heater... Like a, my radiator? Like a, yeah, like a, a, a an electric mini radiator. It'll be like a hot plate. Um, it should be, I don't know, five minutes will do. Uh, because ranch hands don't have the kind of time to just wait for a rabbit to be done by Gordon fucking Ramsay. Um, bung it on a plate, serve it with a side of traditional Western saltines, and, <laughs> and then they've got a, a, a slap up cowboy meal good enough for Wyatt Earp himself. So I'm, I'm running a brothel in my landlord's house. I have a Saloon and brothel. Saloon, saloon and brothel. Well, I'm just going through the list. I've got a saloon <laughs> made out of cornflakes boxes. So I basically just have a, a, a house filled with empty cornflakes boxes and a boom box. I've got a prostitutes upstairs and now I'm feeding strangers... Half it's raw on the top. It's just a dead, skinned rabbit, and then just black on the bottom from being burned from a radiator. <laughs> just like eat this. Don't worry about it. Just eat the black side. That's the part that doesn't have germs in it. You'll be fine. <laughs> and saltines on the side, and Everclear, which is, I swear to God, that's a rock and roll band. Just, and I, yeah, that's a new. Oh, and you and, ran with it well. And you, Boone's Farm. No, what? Bo- we'll, we'll have bottles of Boone's Farm. What is Boone's Farm? Flavored alcohol drink. Oh, oh Haw- I don't know that. Hawaiian blue. We'll okay. Give them some of that. That'll go down a tasty treat. That's the kind of thing cowboys wear. D- wear drink. Um, so you'll be. This is going to be so good. And you. <laughs> I don't know why you're worried. I really don't know why you are worried, because I'm the it's one... It's worse than the gerbil wheel idea, which I thought was the worst <laughs> one, where you were just going to make me poo on command by listening to the mask theme and just be in a gerbil, <laughs> giant gerbil wheel. I thought, wow, that would be that would be rough. But at least that was contained between <laughs> you and me and the poo. This is inviting the whole world into this just, you know, hellish nightmare. <laughs> There's nothing hellish about it! We'll be... <laughs> We'll be, it'll have the traditional smoky, rustic atmosphere of... They'll be smoking burned rabbit flesh <laughs> in, the, in the air. That's what the, <laughs> that's what the Wild West smelled like. Is that right? Mm-hmm. You'll, people will talk about this for far and wide. They'll say, 
We need to go to Jonathan Holmes's <laughs> saloon and brothel for the sights, the sounds, and the smells of the Old West. Come through the revolving, flappy saloon doors, which Jim Sterling, artisan and pr- entrepreneur, built by kicking in the front door and replacing it with two cornflakes boxes that you just kind of <laughs> that you just kind of kick aside. Uh, It'd fall right off. It would just, you know, I'm just going to have a, a house with no doors filled with prostitutes, burning rabbit flesh, and um, just strangers, just strange men that you've invited in. You called them cowboys. They would, be, they would be strange men. I'll find them under a bridge. <laughs> They'll become your regulars. And the yes, end, they and, will. At the end, and you'll get compensated because every day I'll give them um, like chocolate money coins, <laughs> and they'll give you that in exchange for the drinks that you have bought from Walmart. Um, cheap, cost-effective. Okay. Uh, at the end of the day, we split the chocolate coins. And that's profit. You can do whatever you want with those chocolate coins. Apart, apart from eat them, because I will need them all back by the next morning to hand back out to the bridge bumps. <laughs> I predict that with your plan, we are in jail or dead within 24 hours. Easy. Maybe maybe 12. And I'm leaning towards dead. That's a Someone would kill us, or we'd die from <laughs> rabbit meat but, poisoning. But Jonathan, mm-hmm. you kick, you nudge the saloon doors aside with your feet, and walk in, and it's like you've stepped through time <laughs> to the world of the quick and the dead. There is a photograph of Gene Hackman on the wall. Okay. So you know it is like cowboy times. <laughs> All around you, on circular tables, which admittedly will probably be dartboards balanced on bricks, there are authentic, dirty cowboys playing poker. And by that I mean Pokemon, because they are the only cards I could get my hands on. We we would be dead within. Right, I'm not done in describing this exotic, wonderful world. You oh, you you cast your eyes aside to find a traditional tinkly tonkly piano man sat next to an authentic cowboy ghetto blaster, <laughs> playing "Girls Just Wanna Have Fun" as they <laughs> sang round the campfire in yonder times. Cast your eyes upstairs. There's a dirty old man chasing a prostitute. If he, catches, if he catches her, he'll hurt her. But don't worry, <laughs> it's all part of the fun. And just yes. when you think things couldn't get authentic enough, just when you think you've seen it all and you can go home and feel like you stepped through the past itself, like in Back to the Future 3 or 2, whichever one was Cowboy Times. That was the third one, yeah. You see a bar, and behind that bar, a 35-year-old bald brown man with an Adventure Time t-shirt cleaning a glass (laughs) with a bit of tissue paper. That's my mustache, it's just um, some toilet paper glued to my face. Yes. Uh, I'm thinking maybe a sycamore leaf, uh, which we've duct taped on. And if we're lucky, we would just be forced to go to the psychiatric hospital. That would be the best possible uh, uh, outcome for this. If we do it for more than 10 minutes, then maybe we'll just be forced to take psychiatric Uh, medications. I'll be honest with you, Jonathan. Uh I'm going to be perfectly honest and straight, and I expect you to be so with me. Sure. I'm sensing you're kind of down on this idea. <laughs> it's, you know, it's weird because it started off with a feeling that, oh, maybe this, because it wasn't outwardly trying to 
or or it the, the, I didn't feel to 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 use prior terminology. Uh, other ideas you've had are have been pretty objectifying, Jim. You know, just staring at me. <laughs> Uh, in a hamster wheel, forcing me to do all sorts of things. Wasn't there one where you're gonna slam twigs into my face? Oh yeah, we were, we were gonna be yeah, cenobites. Yeah, for the summer. All good uh, ideas. All 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 meritous <laughs> schemes. They've been fairly objectifying. Uh, you've treated me a bit like a piece of meat, but this <laughs> one, it felt like wow, that's not where he's coming from on this. He's no, really you're in charge. Kind of... <laughs> Yeah, I'm you're the you're the barkeep, and but in the end, it did turn into the most dangerous, troubling, uh, potentially uh, lethal of all your ideas. Ish? Because to me, this seems like the most doable, <laughs> the, the most <laughs> easily. Not. Because I mean, all you need are cornflakes boxes and a ghetto blaster, and you're inviting so many strangers into. Yeah. A, a house with no door. Right, but you're saying this is if it's impossible, right? How many people in the world do you like know as a, as a friend or an acquaintance? I don't know. Um, probably a few. Yeah. Yeah, but, like let's say let's just be generous and say like 150. Okay. Okay. Sure. There are six billion people in the world, right? Yeah. There are way more strangers than friends. True. So you're saying it's if it's impossible for me to find strangers and fill your house with it. <laughs> No, you can find the strangers, uh, but they would be a- – anyone you walk up to on the street and say, hey, got a great idea, um, running my own saloon and brothel in Arlington, <laughs> Massachusetts. How would you like to just be in there with us? Don't worry about it. No one's going to do anything weird to you for sure. You get anyone chocolate who- money. <laughs> anyone who says – Oh yeah, all right. That's all I. Uh, that's the best thing I could do with my night is just be in a stranger's brothel. Um, yeah, it's unsavory characters. All right. Crazy. So here's the thing. Here's the thing, Jonathan. Mm-hmm. What is your problem with them? <laughs> I enjoy you know my life is not perfect i i, I get frustrated sometimes uh, i have tough times we all do we, we, all, yeah, do, we yeah. all do but i do like i am very appreciative that i have the basics i have my physical safety my health my freedom um my my uh sense of control over my immediate surroundings and your plan will immediately destroy all of those things that are, are the very basic foundation of my adult existence in general. I'm going to have – my landlord is just going to watch strangers have sex tonight. I mean, if you had your way, there would just be um, porking right now with him there. And, it, and, and just uh, a ghetto blaster playing old tinkly – that alone can get you – in trouble, knocking your door off and then just playing door to 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 We'll actually have to change the whole brothel name. So Barkeep Holmes' uh, Western Saloon and Brothel uh, of Prostitutes. That's the full name. Uh, Barkeep Holmes' Western Style Saloon and Brothel of Prostitutes. Um, brackets Fiat to Jim Sterling. So it's like a rap song. 